to run Gemini, we need a Node.js. So let's start with installing Node.js. To download Node.js, we have multiple options. I'm going with the macOS installer here. Let's click on macOS installer. Oh, I didn't, I missed, I selected for x64 architecture. I need to select ARM64 because I'm running a Apple Silica here. So I need to select ARM64 architecture package. So yeah, let me select and re-download it. Oops. I'm not sure which one I downloaded. Let's remove the confusion here. And delete the current downloaded one and make sure I'm downloading ARM64 architecture one one more time. So let me remove the one which I already downloaded. So make sure I'm selecting ARM64. Click on Mac OS installer package. It is getting downloaded. I think it's downloaded. Let's double click on the package to install. And it is showing which now done NPM version. Click continue and go ahead with the default agreement. Go ahead and install the package. So it's asking my Mac pass Mac password after that i'm installing i think it's installed successfully so let's move the package to the bin it has some issues that's okay leave it let's go to the terminal now and let's check what is the current old node version which I'm currently running? Yeah, it is 22, which I just installed. The next step is so we need to follow some instruction on GitHub. I'm going to show you from the beginning how we reach to the GitHub page. So Let's go to the Google and search for Gemini CLI. So you can find a blog that Google thing. And you can go here and click on try now, which redirects you to the GitHub page where it has the steps to install CLI. And I prefer going with the NPM option. And also you can see it requires a minimum node 18 and above. So go with npm, copy the command, go to the terminal, paste the command. So it is trying to grab the packages, npm packages. and it seems some error happened let's see what is error okay i think it is showing us permissions issues okay let's run with sudo privileges i hope this time it should don't throw any error it is asking my mac password again and given my Mac password and this time yeah it seems it's installing and it is asking series of permissions to my file system and some of the tools and it's even it's asking a permission for iCloud photos I don't want to give access to photos 
No, I don't want to give to the photos. Don't allow. Asking for iTunes. Don't allow. Uh, then it is asking the theme. I think I need to go with the default, I guess. I'm looking how to accept that option, default option. Mm -hmm. Okay, you, it is saying use enter to select. Yes, then it is asking login with Google or API key. I'm going with the login with Google. I already logged in with my Gmail and click sign in. Now it is authorized. Now when we go back to terminal yes it's installed and it is asking try your type your message or path to file yeah, basically we need to give our prompt here i confused a little bit what need to try here so yeah we need to type a prompt or a task which we are looking from Gemini to perform. So I'm looking for some examples which might be available in GitHub page. I don't see any examples. Yeah, there is an example to create a new project uh, and to create a new app i think this app is like uh, create answering some faqs from the provided faq file so i just type hello it's responding hi there how can i help you today and this time i am trying to follow the same thing cd new project which was there in our github page and you can see uh i think it's trying to create a new directory uh, first of all it is trying to check whether the directory is exist it is saying uh, it looks like uh, the directory doesn't exist would you like to create it for you i just need to enter that's it i should say yes here i guess yeah and considering the directory and it is asking hello to create a directory permissions basically i'm selecting s yes, hello once yeah and i given permissions and defining the action and also it's created a directory and also it is saying the same directory is considered for future commands as well and it is asking the next action to perform on that particular directory i am trying to create the same example which they are showing in github write write me a gemini discard app and i'm searching for any other examples here the easiest examples So let's go with the same example, which is there. 
in the GitHub example. You write a Gemini Discord bot that answers questions using the file which I will be providing. I'm typing the prompt here. Once I entered it and it is defining the action. It is defining the action which is taking yeah, almost 30 seconds. It's taking some time. I'm structuring the deployment, laying the foundation, and allow to execute uh, basically it is trying to initialize the npm init file and it is looking for some permissions yeah it is asking me to defining the input yeah i think that's all this is how we can install Gemini CLI and I am trying it uh, sprightly by seeing the blog post. Let me try for, with some more examples and come back with uh, very good examples. We can execute from Gemini CLI. Thanks for watching.